All right, y'all. Here again. Another week done passed, knocking out these videos. Check this book out in my new book, Control. Go ahead and check this book out. Yeah, that's me smiling on the cover. Yeah, go ahead and check that book out. It's available on Amazon. Go ahead and hit that order button. It'll be right there at your house. So anyway, with my new Control book. Oh, damn, my hat messing up. Uh. So anyway, let's go ahead and get in this video. So going over this email, this person want to know, their question is this. How do people know when their ex relationship is falling apart? Well, they want to know how other people know that their ex relationship is falling apart. Okay, here goes some of the clues and all that stuff like that. Not to say you should be paying attention to the sign, paying attention to their relationship. Like, you, okay, well, since that shit failed, you can come on back to me. Yeah, come on home. You, nah, hell no. Nah. nah, that's what you don't do. You know, you never be on the back burner for someone else. You got to carry yourself like it's me or nothing. You know, and I don't know about all that other shit that you got going over there. That's your attitude. So the first sign you want to list, well, the first sign that their, you know, their relationship is going to fail, is falling apart, not that you should give a shit, you know, is this. The emotional connection, there's no emotional connection at all. You know, there's no emotional connection. Sometimes, you know, in a lot of times in a relationship, people don't really be bonding. They ain't got nothing in common. The only thing they like about the relationship is they just get a chance to have sex with the person. You ever seen on relationship where they be fighting all the goddamn time? I'm just all the goddamn time. Some person I got kicked out on the, on the highway. You know, they got, you know, scrapes and bruises and cuts on them and stuff. They ain't got in that relationship. But they always fighting. Not to say you should intervene in that shit because, you know, they're going to get back together later. But in them relationship, all they got in common is sex. That's all they like, the sex. They ain't got no emotional connection or whatsoever. It's just raw sex. So, therefore, in these off-brand, a lot of time in these off-brand ass relation, rebound relationship, it just then there's no emotional connection. They ain't got really nothing to talk about unless you intervene, then they got something to talk about. You the common enemy. That's why I say stay out of that, you know, their problem, their rebound relationship. Stay out of that. Because once you interfere with that, you making them come together. Once you stay out of it, they gotta, you know, come up with something to talk about. Really they ain't got no emotional connection shit to talk about. And, you know, most of the time they be co-workers. They talk about work all the damn time. And, you know, and the other sign is this. Confrontations. They always got down fighting. Always fighting. Like, damn, you drunk up all my children juicy juice. Or they be fighting all the damn time. You eat up all the fruit roll-ups. All the fruit roll-ups. Why you took the car and bring it back with no gas in it? Then they get the fucking fighting. They're just for stupid stuff like that. Oh, goddamn. You know the Ultima got a push button. Why the battery dead? All the types, all sorts of stuff. Why the car smell like weed? Why you got this blunt spray on the seats? That's just sticky and shit. But it's all sorts of reasons why they're going to be fighting. <laughs> I'm telling you. You're like, well, damn. Little Tay Tay Wick appointment was at 4 o'clock. Miss Fox no call and talking about we late and we got to reschedule. All because of you. You want to go out and hang out with so-and-so, you know, can't pull your pants up. And you want to wear a bonnet or whatever type of reason, you know, confrontation. The other thing is this. Signs that they falling apart. There's no trust. There's absolutely no trust. Because like I said, the way you get them is the way you lose them. See, they got together through cheating or whatever, doing some old off-brand ass, sneaky back, stabbing ass stuff. That's the way, that's how they got together. Nine times out of ten in the future, they're going to be like, well, okay. If this person cheat with me, there's a high chance they'll cheat on me. Let me watch this old off-brand ass person make sure. So therefore, there'll be no trust. They'll be like, let me see your phone. You know my phone off. It don't matter. Let me see. You can have Wi-Fi and you still be cheating. But let me, they be like, there's no trust. You know, that's why a lot of times, a lot, you try to say, I don't know if y'all, the people out there in the audience world, now seen this, a lot of times when you drop your kids off, look in the past and to see who, in, who over there. That'd be the off-brand ass person right there. They riding in the past and see or driving. 
to make sure ain't nothing going on between you and them if y'all have kids together. Then the pass in the seat watching, like, okay, why you gotta talk to your baby daddy or baby mama that way? Or you must be still like them. You still want them and stuff like that. Keep in mind, in the off-brand painkiller mind, they think your ex is the prize. So they'll do anything to keep that prize. So therefore, in the behind the scenes when nobody looking, they're very insecure because they know, they know how they got there. They know. The one person that's a true threat to their little off-brand relationship is you. You. Because you know what it takes to pretty much get your ex back. You know what they like and don't like and all that stuff. You really ain't got to watch all these videos. You know the person in question. You know they like, they dislike, you know their mama, you know their daddy, you know their grandma name and all them. You know all of them people. And stuff like that. You didn't jump through no monkey ass hoop to please them. Then some of them, you know, some sometimes you might have to I'm going to put it like this. The off-brand ass person got to jump through these monkey ass hoops for their family to accept them. But then again, you got some of these old fake ass family members. They're like whoever your ex bring around. So that's a whole different video for some other time. The last one is this. It's clear signs that, you know, that little off-brand ass relationship falling apart and stuff like that is... They start fantasizing and saying your name around this, the other person, the new in the new relationship. You know, they'll just probably say, you know what? Hey, hey, can you bring me some toilet tissue, toilet tissue, Teresa or some shit like? Who the fuck is Teresa? Oh my bad, I ain't meant to say that. You know, I'm, you know I be drunk all the time. I be drinking. You clear, you sober as a motherfucker. But it's be like, yeah, say your name is. Like, hey, hey, come in a little Tay Tay or whatever your name, whatever your name is. They'll say that in the new relationship to the other person by accident because certain old events or certain events trigger old events. You know, it'll remind you of the past. I'm probably kind of like deja vu or the sort of say. It'll remind you that, remind them of that, and they'll say your name by accident. So those are the signs that that shit gonna fall apart. Now, my final thoughts. My final thoughts is this. You shouldn't give a shit about what they're doing over there. If that shit fall apart, good. If it don't fall apart, good. You don't care. Your purpose, your dreams, and your goals come first. All that other old goofy shit about what they doing, man, who cares? Remember, they ain't yours. They is not, they is not yours. But I married them. They still ain't yours. By choice or by force, they still gonna leave your ass one day. One day, all that I need a forever love. You is not forever. How can they give you something that nobody can have? There's no such thing as forever. You know, all they can do is just occupy some of your time. And by choice or by force, they're gonna leave eventually. That's life. That's nature. They're gonna leave on their own or they're gonna die. And when they dying, you can't do shit for them. Unless you got some kind of magical potion to bring their ass back to life. And God don't do no two-for-one deals. If there's no bump bed caskets. There's none of that shit. There's no goddamn 12-feet hole where they bury your ass and they got another casket on top waiting for your ass to go there. There's no, no such thing. So just enjoy your time with that person. Then when that time comes for y'all to separate and go y'all separate ways, you make peace with it, accept it, and go on about your life. You understand? All this other shit with these old suck ass people be talking about, oh, I don't want to die alone, you die alone. Yeah, surprise, surprise, you gonna die alone. You gonna go alone. Ask yourself and think about it. If you ever seen it, if you ever seen somebody passing away, you know, transitioning to the other side, do they stop in mid-death like, hold up, God, hold up, Jesus. Hold up, Death. Hey, little little nuke nuke all them over there. Come on, y'all coming with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on with me. Hey, my wife, I don't I want I don't want nobody busting your drawers when I'm gone. Come on with me too. Have you ever seen that? Ha have you ever? Or have you seen a bunch of people crying around the bedside by the bedside and that person just transitioned to the other side? They can't nothing you can do when your time comes it's come you gonna go alone you come alone you die alone that's the facts of life that's how it is you know so just make peace with it your ultimate goal is putting God first in your life and living life to the fullest there's a beautiful world out there 
Go see God creation. Always plan, plot, strategize, calculate your, calculate your life and what you want to do. Don't Just don't let your time pass on like it's nothing. Get out there, create something that'll leave a legacy and stuff like that. Something you can pass down or something like that. If you don't have kids, to still create something you can pass down. You know, you got cousins and nieces and all that type stuff. Create something. All that lovey-dovey being relationship focused, that, ain't, that shit don't do any goddamn thing. It just feel good. All it all it give you is a feeling. At the end of that feeling, it's nothing. Focus on your goals and purpose. Put God first. That's how you, you know, do what you need to do. And remember, the ultimate goal is not being in no fucking relationship and finding your other half. The ultimate goal is living life on your terms. You understand? There's got a, they got a lot of people in relationships and married and all that stuff. Still got to work that fucking nine to five and slaves in the rat race and stuff like that. It's a lot of off brand ass people in the relationship. They not even happy. They even they in relationship and they feel miserable and alone. So that go to tell you that shit ain't, it ain't adding up to nothing. I'm not against relationships. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm trying to say is that I just want to see more people live life on their terms and leave a legacy and build something that will, uh, you know, last, you know, last. That's all I want. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And let the off-brand ass, ex -ass the, the off-brand ass people, you know, man, you, man, they don't, come, they don't swallow your cum and all that stuff. You crying over these motherfuckers. But anyway, <laughs> let me get off this before I say something I'm supposed to say. Man, fuck that. Let these hoes be a hoe, bro. I mean, for emails, y'all listening to this too. Let them be. You can't save them. They can't. They can't be saved by choice or by force. They're gonna go be a hoe. And when you interfere with their hoe and watch how they react, they're gonna get. They're gonna get mad at you. They're like, what? What? What you doing? What are you doing? I'm being a hoe. And you over here trying to interfere and you won't go away. That's why they act. Well, they do what they do anyway. If you need to, get, <laughs> if you need to get in contact with me, send me an email um, at MacFadden. That one, the email here um, on the screen, or you can text me on WhatsApp, and you can text me, tell me your story, what's going on, and you can check out my books on Amazon. You know, check out all of them, new book control, and follow me on Spotify. On Spotify, man, I can say whatever the hell I want to say. It's YouTube, they be flagging people, shadow banning people. They don't even let you know. But anyway, peace. Check it. Take care of yourself. <laughs>